Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very profound exploration of the world of marketing where uh, emotions take center stage. First of all, thank you very much for uh, watching this video and I'm excited to talk to you about the power of emotional marketing, um, especially creating connections, right? And before we delve into the emotional realm of marketing, uh, I want to ask a couple of questions, right? Um, thought provoking questions. And the first one is about how can tapping into the emotions of your audiences elevate your brand from being a mere product to a meaningful part of your prospects lives, right? Second is in a tech driven world, what role do emotions play in influencing consumer decisions, especially when it comes to, you know, adopting new technologies or products. And third, can you recall a marketing campaign that left a lasting impression or impact on you? You know, what emotions did it evoke and why do you think it was so effective? I want to talk a little bit about these challenges further and uh, talk about how we can address uh, these challenges in an effective way. The first one here is the perceived lack of emotional appeal. Tech products are often perceived as utilitarian, right? They lack emotional appeal found in consumer goods. How can marketers infuse emotions into campaigns or you know campaigns for seemingly unemotional products? Right? Second is balancing rationality and emotion. Tech consumers are known for their analytical approach. How do marketers strike a balance between appealing to their rational side and elicit uh, emotional responses and what about navigating cultural sensitivities right different culture interpret and respond to emotion differently well, how can tech marketers ensure that their emotional campaigns resonate positively across diverse cultural landscapes I want to talk about uh, some of the strategies um, now and uh, the first strategy here is to talk identify brand associated emotions dive deep into what your brand represents and identify the emotions it naturally evokes you know, can you use maybe tools like social listening platforms you know to gauge your audience sentiments and um, second strategy is to kind of humanize tech innovations, right? How, how can you humanize your tech products by showcasing real stories or relatable narratives of and uh, ensure to showcase how they positively impact the lives of your target audience? You can incorporate testimonials, case studies and user generated content into your campaigns. The third is collaborate with emotional intelligence. Work with professionals well versed in emotional intelligence to create narratives that resonate. Collaborate with storytellers, right? Psychologists or cultural experts to ensure authenticity. And um, as, as we delve into this topic, I want to talk some of the tools and uh, advanced strategies tailored for tech marketers, you know, making, aiming to infuse emotions into their campaigns. The first one is brand watch, right? You can use brand watch to analyze online conversations and sentiments around uh, your brand. You know, understand how your audience feels about your products and tailor campaigns accordingly. Second is uh, creating emotional marketing through value headline analysis. So, you know, can you use tools like emotional marketing value headline analysis to assess the emotional impact of your headlines and copy, right? Ensure your messaging strikes the right emotion chords. 
Affectiva is another option, right? You can use an emotion AI platform to measure audience emotional responses to your content, gain insights into which emotional triggers are most effective. It is important for you to remember that emotions are a universal language and that kind of transcends the digital realm. I hope you find these insights valuable. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.